Hello, uh, welcome back to a new video. Um, I ha <laughs> I have not made a video for a really long time, which I should apologize for that. <laughs> and, um, well, it, it's just because I've been busy, really. But I have been making stuff again. So this is a Tomcat. As you, it, if, if you're into Jets, uh, is, then you probably have noticed. Um, I want to just showcase the improvements you can make by just like getting good <laughs> really um there, there isn't really another way but it, it just showcases some like building tricks and stuff like i've done that in the past with the f16 but i first wanted to take this just for a spin just showcase it because i i am quite proud of this how it looks it's not completely finished i do want to add landing gear and some guns, maybe some mock missiles, <laughs> or like fuel tanks. As you can see, it flies really well, but not when the wings are like back. It's, it still flies okay, but like a turn rate just becomes meh. <laughs> but it does look like the flying Dorito it is, so I'm quite happy with it. <laughs> So, I'm going to show you my old Tomcat in a moment, which, disclaimer, well, some of you might have already have seen it because I do have a video, um, I'll showcase it, but it's, it's really bad, um, I think I never really got it to fly properly. I don't know why. Um, yeah, we're going to f try and find it. Which I I have so many blueprints. It's it's kind of a chore to find anything. Okay. Wasn't actually that bad. Oh, I still use raw jets. Oh no. Are they automatic? I don't I don't think they're automatic. The one two. No, oh, I just dropped bombs. I don't know how to landing gear. Oh wait, it's on L for landing gear. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh no. Actually, the turn rate surprises me somewhat. Like this is pretty flyable. It's just kind of nose diving and sinks real bad for some reason. Just kind of, it's, it's kind of wobbly. I don't know why. Um, Also, I really like the shape, like, it's too basic, where my new one, um, does that a lot better. <laughs> that looks, uh, somewhat wack. Uh, it's landable. Landing gear adds a lot, um... But in Trill Makers, there's this thing with bouncy wheels that really undermines cool landings. Um, yeah, we're going to compare them. Um, so it's called pre test branch Tomcat because um, there's also a test branch right now which I've been busy testing. <laughs> Just looking at new stuff basically. But uh, but I'm I'm really happy with the, what the devs are doing right now. So but I I can't tell anything, sadly. Uh, I I would if I could, but not gonna happen. So the first thing is obviously, um, which I always do nowadays. So if you can look at the like, this is a two block center. And this is a one block center, which. A one block center allows for a lot more detail. Like it's not this thing isn't even that much bigger. Yeah, it is bigger, but, like, the nose is not all that much bigger. Yet, there's, like, triple the amount of detail, right? If you look at the nose right here, this was, this was actually a lot of work to do. Um, you spend a lot of time... Just if you, like, um... Even use a piston glitch, because just this didn't look good enough for me. Um... 
So I glitched some parts in to make it look better. Which I think helped it quite a bit. I should really get that edge, which I just didn't like. Um, then I just did a pretty standard cockpit, actually. <laughs> I used this design. Like, I just changed the shape a bit, but other than that, it's pretty much the same as what I usually do. Um, but I do think I want to change this one out for a longer one, actually. I'm going to do that right now. Um, also, a quick building trick. Um, if you have the block skins, which you should, um, <laughs> if you get like the glowing one and make it a dark color, like even like the dark red, it doesn't glow anymore. You get a nice, you actually get a, like a really nice variation on the color. Uh, like this is quite glowy, but this one's also quite glowy, but this one just gives you like that nice neon blue. Here you just get that matte black, which, that's the wrong plane. <laughs> I think looks really nice. Um, So another w one of the details that I should have done with uh, this one for sure is, um, oh, you can't see it in build mode, but I have hinges. Like the entire thing is on hinges <laughs> and on pistons. It's not it, like if you shoot like somewhere over here, like the, the plane is going to fall apart, but that, it's not like that's going to happen. So and it's quite well protected. You get this nice contour, like, like this is higher and stuff because of the angles. And like you may not notice it immediately, but it adds quite a bit. Also, the engines being higher than the rest of the body help a lot. Where this one does the exact opposite. Um, and that, that's basically already all I've done. Um, and, and I made this work quite a bit better. But that's also just a bit of luck. Where this one actually wants to glitch in. <laughs> like piston... Or this, this isn't technically a piston glitch, but that's what we call it. Um, it can be really finicky. Um, Like, like really finicky it, it's really a problem at times because of uh, the way weld groups work I could make a video on how weld groups work exactly actually if, if you want me to but I'd have to uh, ask the devs about them too because I don't know everything <laughs> I know quite a bit of how they work but and what the, especially what their effects are that's just due to experience. But I, I could do a video on that. Interview the devs or something. <laughs> be a nuisance. No, it, but in all serious, that could be fun. Um, I might do it. But I'm not sure. There's something I've also learned with time is just how to make a plane um, fly well because the other one doesn't fly great like it's just a big meh well th this one at least when the wings aren't like in Dorito position like it flies really nice um, but it is it, like it's not even that fast but it feels fast which is always nice and the turn rate isn't high, but it works for me. It doesn't sink too much and stuff. Well, it actually does sink quite a bit. But, you know, that's also just me being a bad pilot. I'm not, I'm not as good at this at uh, this game as you might think. Like, it's it's pretty disappointing actually. <laughs> but that's okay. I play it for fun. <laughs> 
So something I was going to look into is how to make afterburners with this. Um, and better landing gear, which those are two things that I'm going to do. But not right now on camera. I'm also going to give it fuel tanks, maybe some um, fake missiles or bombs. Uh, just a adding stuff like missiles and stuff. It helps so much with the thing. Uh, it's something not a lot of people realize. But it, it really does help. Um, like a good example is... Um, like the F-16 and stuff. Like... Just because there's stuff under the wing, it looks like it's combat ready. It's, it just helps a lot. So we do also have the Viper still. Uh, I am still working on that. That's It's not gone. Um, it'll come back. But not right now. <laughs> I also started making a map for it. But that won't launch until, like, like I have more time, I guess, and patience to work on the map. Because it is quite nice, but I think I, because it, it's it's partially water. Um, but I think I just wanted to make it off the coast of another map, maybe like the, um, I've seen some people use the dethrone map flat. But yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I'll ask some people to help me, maybe even, but yeah, that's that's basically going to be this video, I think, because I haven't really done anything else. I've just been busy with other games, for example. Um, I, I've actually been kind of addicted to Twenty Forty Two, which is pretty bad, I know. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. So I'll see you guys later. I don't know when I'll upload again. <laughs>